This is the day that the Lord has made. And I ain't gonna let it slip away. I'm gonna be joyful. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be joyful. Today. So I'm calling this your most powerful career year yet. How would you describe this year? I just feel like I'm walking in the promises of God and just all the things that I was prophesied, you know, when I was younger and spoken over by my grandma, my mom, my dad. I just feel like it's coming into fruition. So I just feel, I don't know, I'm walking in these promises. So fast, life comes and goes. Make it last, best slow your road. The worship stuff is really inspired by mostly like my grandparents and their walk and that kind of sound, I guess I adopted from them. I would be in the car listening to Ty Trending and Yolanda Adams and CeCe Winans with my grandmother. So I adopted that worship, but then with my parents, she'd be playing like Aretha Franklin and all that. And so I think Circles was a lot of just soul undertones and R&B undertones. You know? Now, could you always sing or were you? I could always sing. Mm -hmm. I, was a, I was a sneaky singer. So like whenever my parents would be gone from home, I would sing out loud or whenever I was in the shower I like to hum on key. Anytime I was outside of those elements I would fake sing because I was so nervous for people to hear my actual voice. And so uh, my grandmother heard me one day and was like, what? And so then I became a singer that day. So you go from small town and we sit here today and you're actually making history yeah. at the Grammy Awards, being <laughs> nominated in gospel and Christian at the same time. Why? <laughs> I, was, I found myself asking God all the time, who am I? Not even like spiritually, like a son I know and, and I'm chosen, I'm called, predestined, but other than that, like who am I practically to people? Because I don't think I know who I am mm. or my impact. I don't understand my impact even up until the Grammys. It's just the Lord showing me that, you know, you're not in control, I'm in control, and whatever I want for your life will happen. There was never a moment when you left me alone. Is it true to say that three years ago you were homeless? Yeah, I was. And then I moved to Columbus, and then I started living in a trailer that my pastor was paying for. And uh, I wrote a lot of my songs in the trailer. Things do get better. And they lied, they lied, they lied when they said it won't. I was so depressed, so miserable, because I'm like, this is never going to happen for me. Because I had been singing for like six years prior, seven years prior, trying to do music. And it was just not doing it. And in circles was the one we were like, OK, finally. Now, I'm told you also dealt with trauma. You know, probably the one you're talking about is just me being molested at a young age and going through sexual abuse and then having to navigate through my sexuality through, you know, that whole season and, you know, the Lord bringing me out on the other side of that. Even that is crazy in and of itself. You know, me and my grandmother just talked about it at the Dove Awards. I took my grandmother to the Dove Awards with me and we went to breakfast and she was like, you know, she brought it up. And then we talked about it. Papa could see the person I've become. So in talking about it with God, was there any blaming God or asking God why or how could you let this happen? There was a few times I did ask God why um, the trauma had already happened. So that was the, I was asking God like, pretty much why would you allow me to go through this? It's horrible, you know what I mean? Like the aftermath is horrible. You know what I mean? Obviously the act is too, but the aftermath is even longer. I never really blamed him though, because I just, you know, he was with me. He kind of like helped me get through it. Mom and dad were drug dealers? They were drug dealers. <laughs> I didn't know they were drug dealers until about 12 years old. And I think I just saw it when they was like, what in the world? They ended up stopping, you know, when I was 16 years old. I was going to church every Sunday. I ended up getting saved. And my mom got saved when I was 16. We ended up reading the Bible together and she met Jesus when I was 16. Ooh, 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 ooh. You going on tour? I'm going on tour. I'm doing a tour with um, Four King and Country. It's a joint tour and I'm very, very excited about that. And then I'm doing a Dante Bell tour, Circles tour. 
Amazing. Dante both circles to her. Mm. How does that feel? I don't know yet. I, I, we even us dreaming it up is like, is this really gonna happen? People are really gonna show up to this? You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm excited just to see, I guess, what what happens. It's just